They are by far the most popular of all snacks. They can curb hunger during the day, be perfect companions with wine or with an aperitif, and even at the end of a meal. Yes, you got it. I'm talking about taralli. Here is our version. Let's start with the basic dough. If you don't feel like training your muscles, you can do everything in the standard mixer. I'll add the salt to the flour, then oil, and I start mixing the ingredients by hand. This is the basic dough here, although in our country you can find really many different types. Tarali can be savory or sweet, big or small, and southern Italy is the top producer. Between Puglia with a famous tarallini and Campania with a wonderful lard and pepper taralli. Here the dough has become crumbly, so I can add to the wine. As soon as the mixture begins to take consistency, I'll turn it out onto the work surface to continue kneading it for 10 minutes. This is a when, if you want to make small variations to customize your taralli, you can add, for example, some spices, pepper, chili pepper, fennel seeds or black olive pate for a Mediterranean version, or pizzaiola with a tomato paste and oregano. When the dough is ready, I take small pieces, roughly this size. Then I shape it into a little rope about 1 cm thick and 12 cm long. Let's measure it up with a ruler. Let's trim it with a scraper and shape it into a small donut of lap in the ends. And since I'm a precision freak, I'll prefer to the inside using a toothpick. Remember that? With this procedure and these measurements, you will get about 60 terralli. I'll proceed now with all the others. Here I already have some water boiling because I need it to pre-cook our tarallini. You want to put a few pieces at a time. They cook exactly like gnocchi. When they bob up, it's time to drain them. I'll drain the taralli on a tea towel. This will give them the right crunchiness. But if you prefer, you can also skip it and bake the taralli directly. Just bear in mind that they will have a different consistency, but it will give you the opportunity to choose the ones you prefer. Boiled tarallini, let's transfer them to a drip pan ready to bake. Now let's bake them at 190 degrees in static mode for about 40 minutes. So, what do you think of these handmade taralli? A link down below the photo recipe on Giallo Zafferano. We will find ingredients, measurements and the step-by-step -step procedure. If you liked this video and this face, please leave us a nice like and a comment or ask me some questions. If you haven't done it yet, subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on all the news on Giallo Zafferano. Did this recipe make you hungry? Cook it yourself and then let me know.